you guys. Welcome back to Lisa and Company. Today we are doing the first of our actual Valentine's crafts. I don't make a big deal about Valentine's Day here, but I thought I would just do a few little decor pieces for Izzy and I. First up, we've got these great little milk bottles from Dollar Tree. These crafts are quick, easy, and super inexpensive. So we're going to throw a coat of white paint on these. Stick with me while we get them all made. We are going to use the heart-shaped wire wreath forms, but we are doing almost nothing with these. I kid you not. I am going to take a little uh, stencil sponge and we are just going to dab some white paint all over these. We want to cover most of the black, but not in a heavy way. Uh, we want them to almost have like a vintage industrial kind of look. Follow along and see how I get this done. If you like cheap, easy, and simple DIYs and some renovation and decor, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you always know when we upload a new video. Once the paint on the bottles as well as the frames is dry, we're gonna use a little wire. I got mine from Dollar Tree because I wanted to make sure I had a white one. We're just gonna wire those right on the bottom and this is going to be almost finished. Once it's flipped back over, I just used the weight of the bottle to press down and indent that wire frame a little bit just to help the bottle sit a little bit straighter. I'm using some of the pink Dollar Tree twine around the top of the bottle just to add a little something. Now, I am not crazy about this color. I wish I'd had something a little lighter, but I didn't have anything on hand. Use what works for you. That's the most important part of when you're DIYing. When I was finished with that, I went ahead and added some of the Dollar Tree hydrangeas. I took them, I cut them right off so that they would fit nicely in the bottles. I didn't want to try and bend the stems to make it work. And then when I was finished, I added a couple of pieces of my lamb's ear just to give it that great farmhouse look. This one is so cute and so easy and so easy to burn your fingers. All I did was take one of the Dollar Tree wood stickers and I'm pressing some of that reindeer moss into it. The best thing to do with this is literally put a little glue down, smush some of the moss in, smush some of the moss some more and just keep repeating and do a little haircut in between each step. The, the more firmly that you push it into the glue, the better it sticks and the better it looks. And then giving it that really short haircut is exactly what it needs. Try not to pay attention to how many times I burn my fingers. It's just part of this DIY. Now, of course, I did purchase those little pink thumb, thimble, finger protector things. So why am I not using them? That's a great question, you guys. So what am I attaching it to? This is literally a scrap piece of two by four that I have painted and sanded and painted and sanded and wait for it, we're gluing the heart on. That is it. That is how complicated this DIY is. And last but not least, and probably my absolute favorite, I had this vase. I don't remember if I got it at Dollarama or Dollar Tree. And all I did was take it downstairs and spray paint the inside. Now around the top, because I wanted to keep that nice crystal clear edge, I did use a little masking tape on the top. I'm gonna pop a little piece of the Sahara inside and we are off to the races. I'm going to use a total of nine pieces for this, which is about one and a half of the Dollar Tree Stems of Roses. These are so pretty, these pale, pale blush pink. Now, I want a really symmetrical arrangement, so I'm going to put three in a row. And then what I'm going to do is I am going to use that and follow exactly where they go. So three rows of three. Could that be any simpler? Could it look more expensive? I love the way this came out. And we even have a couple stems left over for another DIY. Being around all these hearts and flowers and valentines makes me want to sing old silly love songs. I have the Paul McCartney and Wings one 
totally stuck in my head and I am not singing for you. I would not do that to you, my friends. I went ahead and added a couple of the galvanized metallic hearts to these wire wreaths and I think they are so pretty. The only thing I might have changed out, like I said before, is that colored twine. I really hope you guys enjoyed these videos. If you did, make sure you give me a thumbs up. Why don't you tell me down in the comments which one is your favorite. Stay tuned for more Valentine's DIYs and we'll see you next time.